All right, today we're going to be hacking a Sony W220. It's a 12.1 megapixel camera, and I will be using this as a trail camera. First thing we need to do is remove the screws around the perimeter, and there's two on either side and three on the bottom. So we'll get those out. There's three on the bottom, two right next to the uh, tripod mount. And one right over next to the uh, left hand corner. two on the left hand side all of the screws uh, on the perimeter of this camera are the same size and so you need to remove my battery and remove the uh, memory card See about taking the back cover off. I'll turn it up just a little bit here. Careful, work that back cover loose. And I think I'm gonna have to get that screw out of there before the cover will come off. And that's screw is wanting to be stubborn. There we go. We got it out finally. So now we should be able to take our back cover off. And we'll set that to the side. Right, so now that we've got our back cover off, we're going to Take off the front cover. Just by ripping down at the bottom and start working it up. And just work all the way around to loosen it up. And you can slide that cover off and set it to the side and get it out of the way. And then the tripod mount's going to fall out. And I probably won't reinstall that because I'll probably run my wires out that location. Alright, now that we've got the front and back covers off, we're going to need to get to our um, shutter and power bar up here. And there's one screw that's right here front, uh, behind the top of the LCD uh, screen and holder, so we need to gain access to that. And the easiest way to do that is right in this location, you'll notice that there's a clip, and you can disengage that and be able to get the LCD screen up enough that hopefully we can get in there to that screw and get it out. Okay, we've got that. And now, let's see, we may have to take off our trim pieces on the sides. I think there's a couple of plastic clips that uh, are going to hold everything together. It looks like there's one right here. And I believe there's one on the other side as well that we need to take loose. We want to be careful. We don't want to short out the uh, flash on the... And actually, this clip here is not what we need to take loose. This is my first time doing a 220, so kind of bear with me. Try to get this side trim off. And see, there's a clip right here. Kind of work that up. And 
this one here I guess as well I'm figuring this out as I go so just kind of bear with me here there we go got that one and we can rotate our board over all right and as you can see our flash capacitor is right here on this corner so we need to go ahead and discharge that so we don't short out our flash circuit on the camera trusty little resistor and see if I can get in here and discharge that capacitor without burning anything up. Oh, camera's gonna fall over. So I'm gonna do that off camera and then I'll come back. Alright now that I've got the capacitor discharged and I know we're not gonna ruin our board uh, we need to take off this top trim bar to be able to gain access to our uh, shutter and power board here and, and in order to do that if you look right here in this corner you'll see there's a clear piece of plastic that is uh, it's got a clip on this side and this side we need to disengage those clips so we can get that plastic piece off but we also need to remove our microphone and to do that right where the uh, white and orange wire go into this little uh, square piece that that microphone sits in you can just uh, work that microphone up out of there it's fairly easy to do just work that up and then we can get in there and carefully disengage those little clips on each side you don't want to break anything alright so now we've got that up out of the way microphone's out of the way and you'll see that your speaker is right here just lift that up out of the top trim bar <coughs> and now you can take that trim bar off set it to the side and flip the camera over and this is what we're going to be soldering to the bottom left pad right here or the bottom right pad excuse me is going to be for our power and then this copper pad here we can use that as our ground or common location and then for the shutter we're going to need the bottom right pad right here so um, I'm going to go ahead and solder my wires on there for my hack and then I'll come back Alright, I've got the uh, hack completed for the uh, Sony W220 and just to show you what I've got here I've uh, got my power wire connect uh, to the bottom right corner of the uh, power pad here and then where the copper uh, ground was I connected my common there and for the shutter uh, connected uh, to the bottom right pad on the uh, shutter button over here and for my externals I probably did those a little different than uh, what you've seen in some other postings that people have done uh, but your battery contacts are right here and the one to the left is your common or battery negative and the one to the far right is the battery positive and it's a uh, as you can see there's a little slit down in there that uh, you can see the uh, metal contact so I just uh, put a little bit of uh, soldering paste on that metal contact and I'm using a very fine tipped soldering iron and uh, got some solder on the tip of uh, my iron and stuck it down in there and uh, let it uh, make me a little solder pad there that I could solder to and you know it will melt the plastic a little bit right in there but that's not a big deal uh, as long as you don't overdo it uh, and then uh, pre-tend my wires and uh, put that down there on my solder that I had applied earlier and 
touch it with the iron for just a few seconds and uh, then your wires in place um, didn't mention it but for my hack locations up here I uh, used a little bit of soldering paste there and pre tin wires also that soldering paste uh, really helps to get your wires to stick to some of these really really small solder locations so now it's uh, going to be just a matter of routing my wires back out of the camera and I've looked and probably what I'm going to do is come down off of this front face here and uh, right under this little motor and come out where the tripod mount would have been so um, I'm going to get everything put back together buttoned up and I'll come back and show you that the hack works on this camera now before I get uh, everything back together I just wanted to come back and show you exactly how I routed my wires on this camera uh, as you can see I've got my top trim bar back on and right in this location right here you'll notice I have my power my common and my shutter wire coming out right here between these two tabs that seemed like that was about the best place to um, route those uh, to keep them out of the way of everything when you're connecting this top uh, trim piece back over your shutter and power bar and as you can see whenever I get that board back in place the flash tube sits directly over your uh, external wires All right, so just kind of bring everything down along this front cover keeping them side by side so that they're good and flat there and I just taped them in place and then I came in right here by this little motor and routed them so I could bring them out to where that tripod mount would have been because uh, I won't be reinstalling that uh, and so that's my exit point for my wires and I'm going to go ahead and get everything uh, finished uh, putting back together and then I'll come back alright so um, I completed the hack on the uh, Sony W220 and uh, I'm going to show you that it works and first thing I want to do is check out the uh, externals to make sure we're getting a good connection there so I'm going to connect my voltmeter to the external wires and see if I can get this where you can see it and I'm not sure if I can but anyway there we go so you can read you can see that the uh, meter is reading 416 417 so uh, we know our external connections are good there all right now to test our hack I'm gonna touch my common and my power wires together and the camera should power up which it does and now I touch common and shutter we'll get a picture and once again all right and common and power wires turn the camera off and there we go all right guys so that's the hack on the uh, Sony W220 it's really not that difficult of a hack uh, a hack to do uh, I found that just routing your wires out, or actually taking the camera apart because there's so many flimsy pieces inside there, uh, that seemed to be a little more trouble than uh, the actual hack itself. Uh, of course, now when you're routing your wires out, you want to make sure that you aren't routing them uh, in a location where they're going to get cut or chafed, you know, where it can cause a short inside uh, once you're using the camera. And on this one, I'm not using a servo, I've just got, uh, it's going to be hardwired. So what I'll do uh, before I put it into my build is I'll just uh, goop these wires in place so they can't get tugged and broken, uh, you know, moved around and uh, cause any problems later on. Alright guys, so uh, anyway, like I said, that's the hack on the Sony W220, and I hope this guy helps you guys out.